Hello everyone and welcome back again and I'm still your co-instructor Dr. Dow from Limited Break. I know in our previous lesson we talked something about receiving inputs from the user. So today, uh, before we go to today's lesson, which is the strings, I want you to just upgrade this program you just wrote previously. Like you ask the person the name and the football club the person support. So I've already uh, create a variable, which is what name, which stores this expression, which is what is your name. So that when you print this one name, it has the user, the person's name. Now, I want you to advance this program and just add the favorite club to it. So you just get a variable called favorite. This time you're going to use the snake naming, which is favorite underscore club. Okay. Then we assign it to an input function, which adds the user what is your favorite football club? Now, what you want to print on the screen is like, maybe um, Dr. Don, so Dr. Don likes Barcelona. So in the print statement, what you need to do is this as the variable will be filled because that's the name you want it to appear. So Dr. Don will be here as the name. Then all we need to do is because we said we want to print this out. Let me try to create a comment and say what we want to print out. Like Dr. Don likes Barcelona. Yep. So this is the message we want to print on the screen. So first is the name, likes, then the favorite club, which is Barcelona. So in the print statement, we just write what name, which is this variable containing the name the user is going to enter. So what name? Then I told you we need to add say, we, the plus sign, which is this. Good. Now the plus sign is called catenating or adding every expression that will be used into what this print function. So what name plus, you create a string, likes, make sure you space out, then we concatenate again. Now we will use what the favorite club. Now this is how our statement is going to, so print, what name, which is the name the user is going to enter here, plus likes, which is it's going to be as a string because this is a string, this is also a string, but these strings are stored into a variable. Good. Then concatenate this plus the favorite club. So name first, this will add up to the name, then this is also adding up to the likes. So in that order, Dr. Don likes Barcelona. So what name, which is a variable storing the name, then lies, then favorite. So after the user enter the name of the club, this is what is going to display on the screen. Dr. Don likes. So let's run our code and let's see what. So first the program asks me my name. I just say Dr. Don here. Yeah. Second, what is your favorite club? Now you see we have a problem here. I didn't give space out. So let me try to correct the code so that it will be nice. So we'll bring a question mark and space out. Then let's rerun the program again. Now let's type doctor down here. Enter. What is your favorite girl? Barcelona. Then our final output is doctor down likes Barcelona. As you saw here. So this is how I wanted you to advise. So you can play along with this and try to create something like that as a person, the name, the age, the food he likes best, his favorite girlfriend, his favorite celebrity, everything you want to know. Whether the favorite girl, whether it likes a big ass lady or a flat ass lady, you know what I'm talking about? Try to create something interesting. So you play around so you get all the idea because in the future, in this course, we are going to create numerous projects not less than 200 projects we are going to build all together. That's why this course is the best Python course ever to happen on this planet. Combining all aspects. So when you purchase this like course, 
If you don't lose your money, you are going to get a lot of benefit from it. It is going to open a lot of opportunities for you in terms of programming and do a lot of data science analysis or data analysis and stuff. Yeah. So that's all you need to know about receiving input. But in the future, we are going to learn also you be able to bring all the ideas you've learned together into the course. Yeah. So today we, we're going to talk about what we call strings. Now, what are strings? Strings is just a Python, uh, uh, Python, let's say like a function. We don't say it's like a function. They are just uh, Python words you can use. Anyone is normally surrounded by uh, like quotation marks and double quotation or multiple quotations. Yeah, so we just example like this. It's a string. As you could see here, this is also a string because it's what surrounded by quotation marks. And this is also a string. But I look at the difference. This is a single quote. This is a double quote. And we have multiple quotes. Okay. Now, let me try to clear the screen. This, print fit. Let me try to clear all this stuff. Because we are. Oh, let me delete it all. Now, let's get space to work around. Yeah. Now, when I print this, and I try to print this string with a single quote, hello. Then I run this code. Now, you could see on my screen, I have hello being printed here. At the same time, when I use double quote or double, yeah, double quote, I will still get the same message, hello, because strings can be single or it can be what? Double quote. And you even have a string as a multiple quote, you see? So in the multiple quote, imagine I want to write a whole lot of message or a paragraph so let's try to create something hello my name is blah 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 okay let's try to put in a term then try to do a lot of stuff here yeah. now and we try to run this you see, all these have been printed here. But we have something called a multiple string, which turn triple quote. So here we just add three quotes here. Let's say one, two, three. Yeah. Then we took off this. Take off this. Took off this. Then we took off this. No, instead of using double quote for each line, each line, each line, you see the message that was printed here, this triple quote is going to print the same message. So if you want to write something like a letter or like a message to your girlfriend, a letter to the parliament of your country and you want to use Python to write, we use the triple quote at the first start of your expression and triple code at the end. And that is what we call the multiple string. Yeah. So multiple string starting from this and this, but in your code, you can also use what a single string here. Yeah. And this is going to print out maybe you have S together, right? So when you run this code, now you see it's right here. Because we are using these triple strings, Python interpreter was able to capture everything. But imagine if we took off this. And take off this. Now, what? When you run this, you are going to get sort of error. You say what? Syntax error, end of line, while scanning the string literature. It means when the interpreter was scanning through all the string, 
it found out that this string was started from here up to here and it expected a string here at the end of the line which is this line okay so from here it doesn't know this person here also starting from here it was something at the end so it doesn't know this person so when you are trying to use strings in python you should be very very careful on how to use the single the double and the triple quotes in python now so i can just uh declare a variable let's say a and put hello in it and now uh, that is assigning a string to a variable so this is a string i've assigned to this variable now when i print a i should see what because now i'm trying to print this variable so when i run this code I should see hello on our screen because this string has been assigned to this variable, which means this variable is storing the word hello. And we said, hey, can you access variable A for us and the information in it? So when we access A, it gives us hello on the screen. As simple as that. And I hope you'll be able to understand so far the single code string the double code string and the multiple code string you should be familiar with all these things and in the strings too in python we have what we call the slicing and what does the slicing mean so uh, you can return a range of characters by using what we call the slicing that's in python which specifically start from index to the end of an index separated by what we call the colon to return a part of a string. So let me show you an example of what we call the uh, string slice. Yeah. So let's say we have a variable A, which stores this information, which is John Bull. Now, how do we access only John? Now, in computer programming, it always has something we call indexing. And indexing starts always from zero. It doesn't start from one. In computer programming, indexing starts from zero. So here, J is zero, O is one, H is uh, two, N is uh, three. The space here is four, O is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is how it indexes every stuff here. So imagine I want to access only J. This is what I will do. In print of A, I will use what the square bracket. So in indexing, we use square bracket, then just type zero. Now, when we run this code, we should see only J printed here. So let's try to run. Perfect. So when we run the code, we saw what J here. So this is what we call slicing in Python. That is retaining a character by just using what the syntax. So this why we just wanted a specific character from this string statement here. So we wanted J and we just uh, index it by zero and it printed J for us. Okay, so what of if I want a specific character, maybe from this to this? So, which means we use semicolon, or oh, colon, not semicolon, rather colon. Then we index, we want from zero to one, two, three, four. So, five, which means it should display John on the screen for us. So, let's try to run. Perfect. We had what John here. Because this is zero, though it's five, which means in normal terms you will say one, two, three, four, five, but zero, one, two, one, two, three, four. And here is five, but it excluded the space here. Okay? So you could see here zero, one, two, 
three, four, then the last number, five. So five. So this is what we call it. Uh, slicing in Python programming. And we also have something called a negative index, which means now here from here going is the positive. And when you are reading from backwards to the first side, it's called a negative. So we can just say we want negative two in this way. So you just say negative two. Now here is negative one, negative two, negative three, four, five. So when you run, what do you think will print on the screen? Yeah. So negative one, negative two. Let's change it to negative three. So let's run this code again. Negative one, negative two, negative three. So this is what we call slicing in Python when you are dealing with it or string. So you should know all this stuff when you are dealing with string so that in our upcoming projects, you'll be able to program very, very well and know how to use your slicing, know how to use your quotation marks, your double quotes, your multiple quotes, all in that. And we also have something called the modify or modification of strings in Python, where we set an inbuilt method that can use our string. So example, imagine we have this and you want to make all this string an uppercase letter. This is where we use a method in strings called, or in Python called um, upper. So here, this variable is a to print all this in uppercase. We just use a and hit on dot. You see, the moment you hit dot, you will see all these methods or the string method right here. We have lower, we have replace, find, join, format, capitalize, case look. All this is you could see here are about the string methods. This can be used to modify our string. So dot, let's use upper, then perfect. Then now let's run our code. Now you could see that it has changed all this string John bull to what? All capital of John bull. So it's the same thing. We can change it to lowercase. Lower. And when you run this, what do you get? All this has been changed to what? Lowercase. And we can even remove a lot of stuff in it. Let's say we have this with quotation, like a comma. Let's say a comma, right? We can strip or remove white spaces here. And this, so we use the strip, like a dot a method called strip. What are we stripping? Let's say strip. So you want to remove everything. Then when you run it, every one there was a space there is going to remove and join all together like this. But because I didn't create any space there, though I'm just trying to show you the methods you can use in your Python program when you are dealing with what string. So there are a whole lot of methods. So as I told you, when you just hit on the dot, It brings up all these methods. So you can try this, you can capitalize each, like the first words of each uh, words you will use. So these are all stuff you need to know when you are dealing with string when it comes to, uh, to working with uh, methods in strings. Then we have something called a string concatenation. In our previous uh, video, I showed you everything you need to know about string concatenation. So now let me split these things into two. This is John. Uh, let me put this in string like bold here. Now, when I print A, control R, we get only John right here. But what if I want to concatenate these two together? Now, I can do it straightforward. 
like saying a concatenate which is plus b then run the code now it's going to run what john bull but you see it clears because we didn't go space out so to space out this all you need to do is what try to create a space so you see yes this then plus yeah so we space out and let's run the code again now you see we can have a space here jumbo right now in this to make this thing you know writing all this is to to like uh i'm going to show you some trick it's like making our code a whole lot of uh, well, kind of not looking nice for me yeah so we can just put this we create another variable then now uh, we say a plus b which means this variable is going to store the value in a and b so we can just go straight ahead and print c okay so when we run it's to give us example at the same thing like that yeah so this is actually how to concatenate strings like two strings of different variables together in python yeah as i told you i am slowing down a bit for you to get the whole idea of programming in python so that you have the feeling to be able to do a lot of stuff but please remember try to practice and practice okay so that you'll be so perfect in programming now we're not done with the strings we have something also called this python formatting okay so you can format your strings in different way okay so imagine we have let me clear this and put something more like like a h let's see a is called 20 then let me put something like a test which is a variable which has this string as by meaning this message and by on which fell in bracket perfect no this is where we use for formatting in Python or the strings. Yeah, so we have our age variable stores this integer 20. We have this thing storing this thing. But look here, we have something called the parenthesis here or the curly bracket. Yeah, and the parenthesis are uh, just like this. These are the parenthesis. Wait. Yeah, this one's and these are curly brackets. So to print this out, because we want to print this, this. And I am, um, which means we need to call this what variable. So this is where we use the format method in string. So test dot. Now it's going to print the test, but we want to format this curly hood bracket in here because. That is what is going to contain our age. So in this format, what are we formatting? The age. Perfect. So with this, when we run this code, now look at how pretty it is. My name is Messi. I see a comma and I am. Uh, it is this Kelly bracket by using the method format to call this one variable, which stores our integer here. So in display, my name is Maxi and I am 20 years of age, as simple as that. So that is how you can use format method in strings to be able to format your expression or your test.
So you can give it a try, try to practice more on that. And you should be able to at least try to do this all together. Now, in the same string, we have something we call the character escape. So imagine you're writing a, a whole expression like this. And you want to go to the next line, we have something called the backslash L. What you are trying to tell the interpreter is that when it moves from start to the end of here, it should move to the next line. So backslash is the new line. And the new line, what it could do is it's going to create another single so from maybe I'm 20 from let's see the garden. Perfect. So when I run this, now look here. My name is Messi. And I'm 20. The moment is raised 20, it moves the whole string expression to the new line from girl. But you see, because I created a space between this new, you see the space here? That's why on the screen it gives out the space here. So I can just pull this back, then rerun the code again. And now you can see that it's not. It's on the same line. So this is actually how to use the escape character. So they have a lot of escape character. You have the single backslash, the double backslash, the new line, the tab key. You can use all these kind of escape characters in your, in your project or while writing your software so that you'll be able to make it more readable. Hope it's clear. Yeah, so you need to get all this knowledge you know, I've told you, I've been very bit slow so that you understand what we are doing right here. Because in the projects we are going to do, it's going to be a little bit faster and you need to be faster to be able to code along. Okay. So that what you've learned so far in the beginner level, which I'm slowing down for all new students who are not able to understand Python programming properly, this is the best Python tutorial or lesson which has been deduced downwards so that you'll be able to follow every single thing we are doing. Okay? So that you get all the knowledge and be able to do the project alongside. Right? So, when we start doing the project, I'm going to be a bit fast. I'm going to speak a lot bit fast. You see all the terms, the jargons and programming. So, you should be able to know your variable love, your story. Uh, a variable, we are, we are trying to declare a variable. We are, we are writing a string. We are using this, we are using that. So that you'll be able to know whatever we are doing within the project so that you can be able to move faster and try to work a lot. Yeah. So, I've talked about string methods where you can use the, uh, those kind of stuff. So, we are not going to talk a lot about So, oh, there's one thing too I want to do, like, what if... I want to know the length of character in this tool. Then I can use the length function, right? So you can just write length. And where is the object, which is the variable? We just pass in the variable. Let me delete this. Perfect. So when you run this code, now, the interpreter is telling us that this line of text contains 40 what, characters. So you can use this length function. It's just like the print and the input function in Python. Okay. Uh, as able to identify the number of characters be stored in this variable called test. So you can use the length function to always check the number of characters. So imagine you have a whole lot of essay being written and you want to know the number of ways in that essay, like a thesis paper or something. You just use the length function. Length into bracket, the variable where you store all your test is going to show you the number of characters within 
that variable. Okay. Okay, so that brings us to the end of strings. I hope you've had a whole lot of knowledge about strings, starting from slicing, okay, your quotation and double quotes and a whole lot of stuff. As I told you, we are going to use all this in our upcoming project. So please try to relax, try to practice this all together so that when you encounter some problem, you'll be able to solve it, okay? And please try to use the methods to capitalize your words. What you need to capitalize, what you need to know, what is it? Use the methods and strengths to be able to do all this. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and see you in our next video or next tutorial or lesson where we will talk more about data types in Python programming. Enjoy your evening, get some coffee, get some shower bath. Yeah, and see you next video. Goodbye.